Hello, Gary Simon here of designcourse.com. Today we're going to step into Adobe Illustrator and design a forum icon or symbol and do so in such a way that is consistent with a company's visual identity and basically they, their aesthetics. All right, so if you haven't yet, check out designcourse.com and subscribe here on YouTube. All right, let's get started. All right, so basically go ahead and download the project file associated with this tutorial. Uh, and you can find the link at youtube.com if you're watching this on YouTube or it's at uh, designcourse.com for this specific video page tutorial. And so once you download that, go ahead and extract the files and open up the dclogo.ai here in Adobe Illustrator. So this, this is the design course logo basically, which you know, we have the D and we have the C here. And I've been working on developing a custom forum for designcourse.com, my site. And so I wanted to create a specific forum icon or logo, if you will. And so, you know, most people, you know, you could probably have a forum without your own logo. That's no big deal. But I kind of just wanted one and I wanted to design it in such a way that was consistent with the overall branding and the visual identity and look and feel of designcourse.com. All right. So what I wanted to do was kind of come up with a way to create a forum icon in that conventional kind of like the right over here I'll show you real quick like this little blip thing over here let me get rid of the stroke I come down here give it some color and then go ahead and create you know some type of chat blip like that but try to do so in such a way that you know kind of makes it just look and feel as though it's a part of the designcourse.com brand all right so basically the way I came up with, you know, a way to do that basically is by taking the logo and duplicating it. So control C and control F. And really, it's just a matter of playing around and trying to come up with an interesting concept. So if you uh, right click and flip this. Oh, sorry, we don't have to flip this one. Well, anyhow, it doesn't really matter. We could see centrally, if we just move this over by holding shift, you could see that it kind of already has this center portion that acts as like a little chat blip or whatever. So I took that idea and basically I wanted to recreate this center portion because right now it's destructed over here. So I wanted to recreate that. So take out the rounded rectangle tool. If you go to edit and you go to preferences and general, you could change the corner radius. I have mine at 80 uh, points. So you could change it right there. And then just click out, you know, right around here. And you want to try to match it up as closely as possible. And then use your arrow keys to get that centered up. I'm going to take everything and scale it, holding shift. All right, so we have that. What we want to do basically oops, is get rid of the fill so over here with the gradient tabs selected and click this little x over here to get rid of the fill and then over here we want to give this a fill that is the same color as this which happens to be this color all right so i'm going to enlarge everything again by holding shift and alt and left clicking and dragging up and we can see the center area we basically want to get that so that it's perfectly in line with everything else. So what we can do is take this, hold alt, and then just drag up a little bit. And by the way, it doesn't have to be exactly perfect. Uh, I think right there is pretty good. And then what we want to do is increase the stroke width by quite a bit. So I'm going to try like 40. And I'm also going to temporarily change it to another color just so we can see where this matches up or it doesn't. So. You can just keep on going until we get the rough portions down. And I'd say right there is pretty good. All right, so now what I want to do is go ahead and go to Object, Path, Outline Stroke. So it's no longer a stroke now, uh, and we can't edit the actual stroke. All right, so now what I want to do, I'm going to get rid of this one over here. 
And now I'm going to give this some transparency and by lowering the opacity around 40%. All right, so what I want to do is create that portion, that little blip off the side here, kind of consistent with how this is kind of etching into that portion right there. So I'm going to take the pen tool and I'm just going to kind of follow this line right around here. And then just come up, follow that edge just like that by left clicking hold alt and left click and then come down here and then kind of end it right there i may take the direct selection tool right here and then just make some other adjustments I pull this down a little bit kind of did want this to be a little bit bigger that's no problem though All right, right around there is pretty good. And then what I want to do is I'm going to get rid of this portion over here. We can go ahead and bring this back to 100% opacity. Also change it to the correct color. And then come up over here and we'll make this white. And just kind of follow along this line right up to around here. Now I'd say up a little bit higher. Alt left click and then just come out right around there and then join them. All right, so if I were to get back the other logo real quickly and let me go ahead real quick and use the Pathfinder. So if we go to Window, Pathfinder, we can take both of these shapes and select minus front, take this and this shape, and join them. And if you wanted to, you can get in here closer and fix up these edges just by deleting those. All right, so now if we got back the... Uh, well, let me go ahead. I'm going to save this as a new file. We'll just call this forum logo and then open up the previous one. Just copy that, paste it in here. I want these to be around the same size. What the hell happened there? Well, that's strange. I must have accidentally selected something that I was not supposed to. Well, that's strange. What the hell? <laughs> Maybe I, I didn't copy the whole thing when I selected it. I don't, I don't know. Anyhow, you get the point. So now we can see that we basically have a chat icon that we need for a specific purpose, but we've designed it in such a way that it looks and feels consistent with the, the core of the visual identity, which is this uh, symbol right here, the DC, the designcores.com letter mark. All right, so basically, where did I use this? Well, this is where I'm going to first show the designcourse.com forums, which I custom coded, and I've been working hard in the past like four or five days on making this a reality. And so you can go there right now. I don't have it currently linked at, at a navigation, but if you go there and you've already registered to the site, maybe to download project files or something, it, that registration will also work here as well. So I have my registration. You can click here, register to post, already add member, hit login. And now if you go to uh, one of the forums, you will see posts here that have been made and an introduction section where I, one of my friends from the site also have basically joined. And yeah, I, I'm going to be devoting a video specifically to the forums tomorrow. Uh, and I'm also going to have some type of forum contest. I'm not sure what exactly yet. But yeah, uh, if you like the site and the tutorials, for sure, come out and hang out here. And I'm also thinking uh, of adding more forums, obviously, maybe one for like a project showcase forum. Uh, but yeah, that is it. All right. So yeah, if you uh, need access to the project files, of course, they're available for free. If you haven't yet, subscribe here on YouTube. All right. Goodbye.